Please be aware that the following gameplay taken from the Paris Games Week demo of Bloodborne The Old Hunters does feature some spoilers. Hello, welcome back to Access. My name's Nathan and I'm here with Dave. Hello. Dave, this is a video about Bloodborne, The Old Hunters. Yes. DLC. This is a video, uh, five things you need to know about Bloodborne, The Old Hunters. And the first thing is, as we can see from this delightful shot. Oh my God. <laughs> is that it's set, there are two um, places that it's set. And one of them is uh, the Hunter's Nightmare instead of Ooh. the Hunter's Dream. So this is like a nightmare location. There's another place as well. Uh, but this is just kind of a very quick look at the world. And look, the moon has sort of exploded maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's something to do with it. it this area becomes available at a certain point through the game, not at the end. Um, but it's basically supposed to be an area where old hunters have been trapped in, in whatever kind of, you know, like because you're in a, the whole thing is kind of a dream. Yeah. And these people cannot escape from this area. How do they do this aesthetic, which is kind of most uh, like both beautiful and kind of terrifying? I don't know, man. This is amazing. The sky looks incredible. The All the buildings, buildings are sort are of toppled amazing. over. This is I, I love this panorama shot just because I had to like get to a semi-secret area to to do it. Yeah. Um, number two, apart from the area, this is uh, the new weapons. There are a few kind of new weapons on show. This is a, uh, this is a whirly gig saw. Okay. Uh, and you'll see why in a second. That's its normal form. This is its big form. This is the transformed version. It's like a giant lollipop with a chainsaw at the end, like a circular saw. Lovely. Yeah, it's really... Um, I, I haven't gone through the, the, the move sets on all these new... Uh, we don't really have time, but I just kind of wanted to give you a kind of a look at... This is a big heavy weapon that does loads of damage, but it does leave you open to attacks. Um, uh, these are just little beast men. Is that just the light attack there with the, or is the, it is it the, quite a slow weapon? That's a that's, that's a, a heavy. forward and R two. Um, it is no, it's a heavy weapon. Even the sh like the little R one attacks are big, and this is a big chain sword. Nice. Um, and the, you saw the guy that I was fighting just a second ago. Uh, he also had one because they're hunters. Yeah, yeah, of course they are. Um, so this is, and it's hard fighting someone who's got the same weapon as you because you know that as soon as he starts his attack you don't have time to do yours it's quite um quite a telling weapon isn't it? it's got a big i'm going to whip this at you now yeah it, it, the range on it is incredible and it is it is very damaging um this is me just chucking down a small delayed molotov i think they're new i did i did check i, I, don't, I, remember I don't remember them, them in, the, in, the, in the old game no um so that's the sort of kind of trapping I guess if someone's, if someone's running after you. you yeah you can chuck one down and sort of keep running and this is good for kind of crowd control is what I was trying to do with these guys I wonder if there are new enemies that yeah. are going to deal with that sorry it's alright no, this is number three this is um, uh, these are all kind of preset characters that we've got here again yeah. a little panorama but this is because Simon's bow blade um, oh, right. is, is what he's got in his hand and this is why uh, that is wicked it's a primary weapon that is ranged um, so it is a sword and when it transforms it becomes a big bow uh, and if you look at the stamina bar, it is taking away stamina with every shot. These are heavy shots at the moment. Uh, and it takes away quicksilver bullets as well. Right, okay. Uh, and so, I was, you know, it gives you a completely different dimension. The ability to fight at range. Um, obviously, he shot me there. Um, but I do, I think I've got more range here than he, than he does. I keep backing off and I just kind of pepper him with the smaller shots until he's dead. And would you think that does more damage than just a normal quicksilver bullet out of your... Side oh, arm. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is me just... Uh, this is another hunter who's kind of locked away in a little side area of... of this is the demo, sorry, from Paris Games Week, I should have said, um, which we've been able to capture. Um, and this is uh, this is me just showing you what the um, the melee function of the bow blade is. Not for very long, obviously, because it is actually quite good, even in a small area. If, you just like, if there's something you can kind of... Look, and I like this bit the way I finished him off. But if there's cover, you can circle around very handy it seems quite quick to use as well quite fast e even as a bow like it's it's yeah I'll have one last bit against these kind of smaller less dangerous enemies um, and even as they're coming there's a, like a s tiny bit of a Legolas feel to the light attack like as they're running towards me I'm still like yeah, yeah. Oh, that was really nice exactly and, you know that I'm so powerful this side to run away so you can you charge up the uh the bow note is just a heavy or, or light right. attack. Um, this is, uh, the outfit here is a uh, Mensis Scholar. Yes, I remember. I love this cage. Uh, that's the threaded cane there. I believe that's the same threaded cane that exists already in yeah. the game, although there is a new league cane within the DLC. Uh, this is magic that everyone will be familiar with. This is the Augur of Ebriatus. Um, this is the big old, um, well, it's more of the same actually, um, but I've also thrown in, uh, I don't know if you've ever looked at the animation for this um, bump. Sorry, for this next bit of uh, of magic, but it's you have a small slug in your hand um, called yeah. the Call Beyond, 
you smash the slug and it turns into a sort of a powerful meteor attack. No, I can't say I've noticed that. <laughs> but that is true. But the reason it is because, as well as these, that these are the old ones. Um, one more time. This is me fighting a pair of hunters. I didn't do very well, which is why we're not allowed to see the end of this fight. Um, <laughs> so there's those two exist already. This is the new one, Black Sky Eye. Um, and it's kind of like uh, the ones that the Wardens kind of fire at you. It's got the same kind of uh, magic fire effect. Yeah. Uh, sound effect, even. Um, it's quick again a bit uh, it's just it's interesting the you know the new options for ranged attacks that the old hunters is clearly going to be giving you and that's um, just using a quick silver bullet as well isn't it that's yes that's right just quick silver bullets uh, and the stamina that's going down is just because I'm rolling around moving on to uh, number five now uh, we're sort of going back to the start actually um, this is me dying to those hunters like I said I was going to basically what um, because it's an, the Hunter's Nightmare, it's full of hunters. Yeah. Um, and they're really quite difficult to kill. So this is uh, this area, you can kill them one by one. This is what happens when you try and take them both on. It's really, really hard to separate them because they're both very quick and the range on the whip is massive. Um, so I don't think there was ever a time when I accidentally pulled them both when I managed to get through. But this is, I've obviously, now this is me doing it in stages. You just get a bit more time. Uh, you can kind of time your uh, repasts and your, in, like that's my interrupting shot there. Um, I think I did it again actually. And then I messed up the uh, the finisher. But but the point is, I messed his face up. Um, and then I just wanted to show you the other bosses that were in this level. So I've never seen anything like this before. He absolutely twants me there. It's a bit like um, the enemy that was right at the start of Bloodborne. Like, yes, but, um, but, but he's kind also of quite different. But nightmarey intended to yeah. be all kind of cthulhu and Lovecrafted up. Yeah. Um, he, he, that whip attack, by the way, I was trying to. I, I was thinking, oh, I'll circle left. That's his little weak spot. Um, this is the first time I fought him, which is why I'm a bit clumsy. Oh, that nice. terrified yeah, me. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. I assumed that if he got me, I would be dead. Yeah. Um, again, it, a bit like the scholars when they when they kind of grab me. Horrible. Love that I'm confused by something that's in a nightmare. Like, oh, know. that was scary, wasn't it? In this <laughs> nightmare land. How did he do that? Um, so th yeah, this is me kind of eventually taking down. Very slightly scrappy. I do use the, a whirly gig move here right at the end though, um, where you pull it apart and you just slam the saw down. Uh, that was uh, it was a bit messy because he got me at the same time. Uh, but I was glad to be able to show that. And then this bit was just a wicked bit of staging. I was like. Hang on a moment. <laughs> yeah. What's, What's that? that? That's ah! Shadow. Oh, um, God. But then I remained remarkably calm, actually, Dave. Uh, and I, I simply killed him. I'm impressed. Um, and then, talking of hunters, uh, I summoned someone for the final boss. Yeah. Um, I believe this guy has popped up in a bit of uh, artwork. I saw him on a few forums and on the Reddit threads. Okay. Um, so this is uh, Yamamura the Wanderer. Uh, I believe in French he's called the Vagabond, which is quite exciting. Yeah. Uh, and then me and Yamamura, who's like basically a full-on samurai hunter, he looks cool. We went in, uh, and I and I think I let the intro to this boss play. I think um, if you've been keeping up with the old hunters and you've seen the trailer, you will have seen this intro. I have. It's this guy on the ground, by the way, one of these kind of tortured, stuck in the bloody mud. Yeah. That guy's talking to you, just saying, "Watch out!" And the guy that comes is uh, Ludwig. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. And Ludwig is, you've uh, you've used his holy blade maybe in the game. You've yeah. read about him being, he was part of the healing church. I think he was the first hunter of the workshop. Yeah. Um, and you can tell it's oh. him, uh, because it says his name in a minute. But that is that is his holy blade. Oh, yeah. And he's, and he's wearing the, the robes of uh, the healing church. Like the, the kind of white tattered robes all around him. He's gone a bit bad. Yeah, so you don't know, I mean, what's happened to the hunters in here? And who else might we find? Yeah, uh, it is, I think that's why maybe they've had this area as the demo, just to kind of put in front of you yeah. uh, Ludwig the Accursed, yeah. um, a name that you've already heard. It's going to be really interesting to see the, the, the lore that we've already sort of grasped from Bloodborne kind of revisited like in a, in a different way, like yeah. almost kind of inverted way. I've not done the playthroughs that would really cement all of the lore. It takes a lot. I yeah. didn't mind, like it takes a few goes around to really get it all in. Uh, so this is me just taking down the boss. It was not very difficult with Yamamura, I must say, especially on this particular playthrough because uh, Ludwig wasn't that interested in me. <laughs> like, he, yeah, he jumped up and down on me here. Um, but basically, uh, I think Yamamura must have really upset him because he just kept on... Like, maybe he's... Uh, uh, He's aggroing him with his shot. I don't know, but it made it, it made for a lovely, quick Ludwig dissection. Hey. Bye, Ludwig. Um, yeah, and, and so that was the that was the end of the demo from Paris Games Week, which we played at Paris Games Week, and then we got a chance to kind of capture um, 
in the office to make it nice and, and neat. So, oh, this as well. A little voice at the end. You were at my side all along. No idea who that is. Maybe it's Ludwig. Now he's been released. Huh. I don't know, Dave. I can't wait to see more, man. And it's um, the uh, DLC is out on the 24th of November, which is not long to wait. It's really soon. It really soon. Um, and, I mean, what a lovely Christmas surprise. But get to go back to Yarnum. Yeah, and terrifying dr- nightmare world. And drench yourself in blood. Brilliant. Uh, so stay tuned for some of that this, uh, this holiday season and for everything else on the channel. My true mentor. My guiding moonlight.